Tomorrow, Dr. Ludwig and I will cover the issue of infections in patients with multiple myeloma. Dr. Ludwig will be presenting the theoretical part, and I will be presenting two cases illustrating the infectious complications in patients with multiple myeloma. And in these two uh, real cases, uh, we have a number of questions for the audience. So this will be the, how the workshop will go tomorrow. The issue is more than the questions, will be the issues related with infections, the frequency, the type, the prophylaxis and the treatment of the infections in patients with multiple myeloma in different situations. Myeloma itself places the patient at risk of infection. In fact, about 10% of patients with multiple myeloma are diagnosed with an infection due to an infectious complication, particularly uh, pulmonary infections, pneumococcal pneumonia, and so on. And then over the course of active disease, the patients have an increased rate of infections. And in fact, infection is the more frequent cause of death either at the beginning in patients with high risk and also at the end of the disease, particularly bacterial infections. So the prophylaxis and the treatment is crucial. And now with novel agents, particularly with protosome inhibitors, bortezomib, carfilzomib, ixazomib, prophylaxis against viral infections, particularly herpes zoster infections, and varicella infections and so is essential with acyclovir. So this is the and then there is the issue of vaccination, vaccination against pneumococcal pneumonia, vaccinations against the hemophilus influenza and the flu. And also the issue of if use or not to use high dose immunoglobulins in patients with very frequent bacterial, particularly pneumococcal infections. All this will be discussed tomorrow. In preventing infections, there are patients who are at higher risk than usual. Those who are diagnosed in hospital, particularly all women that are prone to urinary infections, also patients with renal failure, also patients with IgG myeloma with very high level of IgG monoclonal with decreased uninvolved immunoglobulins. These are the high risk. And these patients, at least for the two first month of treatment, need infection prophylaxis with septrim or levofloxacin. Yeah. This is the, the prophylaxis that these particular patients need. Young patients, outpatients, uh, these patients don't need prophylaxis because the rate of infection is very low. And when the patient is in plateau phase, in stable response, these patients don't have an increased risk of infection. But when the patient relapses, again, particularly if there is renal failure, high levels of HCG, and so these patients are prone, again, to infection. So then would need prophylaxis again.